Hi everyone, uh, I just wanted to show a quick tutorial on how to do the uh, rain drop effects in Octane. Um, I learned this solution through the Octane forum uh, by this person named Langclap, um, so check him out. Uh, this is where I learned this technique. Uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a plane. Click. Then uh, you're going to get an emitter. Uh, you'll go, you can go to simulate particles emitter or you know another shortcut is playing shift C and typing emitter. Uh, then I'm going to click this green arrow, bring the emitter up, press R and then rotate here and hold shift and uh, hold, you know, rotate at 90 degrees. And as you can see, you'll see the particles that are shooting at the plane. Um, what we'll do is we will get a displacer. Uh, you can, I shift seed and went to the displacer, but you can also access the displacer here. You're going to drag the displacer object, put it in the plane. Then you will go into the displacer and then you'll see basic coordination, you know, uh, object shading, etc. And then you'll go to fall off. And then you will hit this, uh, you know, go to this particle object. You can hold hold down and click the particle object, or you can just click this. And uh, so I'll click particle object. Then if you look right here, it's going to say pick a particle object to use in the particle layer. You're going to want to choose that emitter. Um, you know, kind of might seem confusing, but there's actually two parts. You go down here, create a particle object, then you'll click on the emitter. If you don't click on the emitter, it won't work. And uh, as you'll see, it's not going to do anything because there is nothing in the displacer. It needs uh, some kind of shader. Uh, I'm just going to use a basic color shader. Uh, you'll hit play, and you'll start seeing that you know there you know it's getting affected but there's not enough segments on the plane so then you're just gonna you know throw in 200 segments um, and you know you're getting kind of the raindrop effect but uh, a way you can create a lot of details uh, this was uh, something that I learned from uh, Langclaff was to go to the contour uh, go to curve um, scroll down here, you're going to want to take this, go here, hold control, click again. Uh, I have some kind of bug where I have to keep doing this, scroll down, but you'll click, hit control, click, hit control, click, hit, hit control, click, scroll down, hit control, click, and uh, you know, you're going to want to add in more segments because there's more detail. So I'll add like a thousand, which is the max. Uh, it's kind of intense on the computer, you know. It's 750. You know, you can add some uh, subdivision or smoother. And uh, yeah, I think that's uh, the basis of this effect. Thank you.